hey guys, Hal <laughs> Link Pierce Scoop Tech Tips. Now, again, this is another uh, question from one of our viewers. Thank you very much. Keep those comments coming. We try our very best to answer everyone. I think we do a pretty good job, uh, even if it's just a short answer, yes, no, <laughs> whatever. Some are longer, that's fine. We love them. Keep them coming. And this particular one, one of, well, by the way, we're at Aquarius Diving Center in Toronto, one of the largest, most active dive shops in all of Canada, probably one of the biggest in North America. When I started diving in the 50s, uh, back then, uh, uh, where they did have standards for, for breathing air, uh, or the standards weren't used, they weren't maintained, they weren't regulated. So how do you do an air check? Well, first of all, 99.9% .9 of all dive stores in, in the world, not just North America, uh, have air quality standards by regulation. They only have to do one a year, but the sample of the air is sent into the air test facility, which is a very, very sophisticated laboratory, be the best word to describe it, where they check the air. They actually break the air down into all its components. Everything in that air is analyzed, so they know exactly what's in the air, and perhaps importantly, what is not in the air, because you don't want certain things. Carbon monoxide would be a bad thing to have as an example and then what they do is they list all those items and they put down how much of each item whatever it is gas moisture whatever is in the air and that's put onto a certificate just like this now importantly as well now not only the level of what is in the air sample you sent in but it also includes by standard what the maximum allowed is let me give you an example Let's take carbon dioxide as an example. Carbon dioxide is, is a gas, or a common gas. Uh, in fact, it is the gas that's produced when you breathe. You breathe in air, which is 40%, sorry, 20% oxygen. And then you breathe out. The air you breathe out still has oxygen in it, but it's now down to 17%. Where'd the 3% go? Well, it was used by your body, and it has been turned into carbon dioxide. So you breathe in, people say it's not exactly true they say you breathe in oxygen breathe out carbon dioxide not exactly true but there's some truth to it point is that you don't want carbon dioxide in the air that you're breathing you want oxygen in there so one of the one one of the requirements on an air test certificate is how much carbon dioxide is in the air okay so here the very first one listed here is carbon dioxide and this particular sample that was sent in 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 august of 2021 carbon dioxide the, the concentration is, is put down in parts per million by volume. So if there's a liter of air, okay, they test it, and the carbon dioxide that they separate, they didn't measure how much carbon dioxide is in. How many parts per million? Not very much, but they measure that. And they came up in this particular uh, uh, sample, 366. So when they analyzed the sample that you sent in from your compressor in a dive store, they found that your air sample has 366 parts per million. Okay? Okay. Doesn't mean much, does it? Until you go back and you see what's allowed 600. Yes, that's right. You could have as much as 600 parts per million and the air is still safe to breathe. This particular dive store, Aquarius as a matter of fact, they only have 366. So this air is, very, in terms of carbon dioxide, very, very safe. All right. Now, if you were standing on the corner of Young and Bloor, if you were standing on Broadway and 57th in Manhattan and breathing, well, you'd be breathing a lot more carbon dioxide than that. The air there would not be considered safe for scuba diving. But in this particular case, it is. Let's go. Let's look at another oxygen. Oxygen is important. You need oxygen. I hope I don't have to explain that to you. So oxygen, here we go. They measured the oxygen. And this particular one, they changed the, the, the measurement, the standard. In this particular case, it's percentage, percentage of the volume. And here at Aquarius, the percentage is 20.9. 20.9% of that sample is oxygen. Okay? What does it say you're supposed to have? 20 to 22. It's supposed to be 20 to 22 percent of the air that you're breathing from your scuba tank is supposed to be oxygen. Okay? Aquarius is 20.9, call it 21. It's 21. Perfect. Right on. And then they got non methane hydrocarbons, results of combustion, halogenated, it sounds like margarine, doesn't it? Atmospheric dew point water vapor, now odor, non detected. Uh, well, okay, now let's go back to this water vapor thing. There's water vapor in the air, whether you like it or not. There's water. You had a shower this morning? 
and you're in a sauna for a few minutes. There's water vapor that gets out. You know, there's water vapor in the air. That's what makes clouds. That's what makes it rain. Makes it snow and so on. There's always water vapor, but you don't want much water vapor in the air that you're breathing. Not bad to have a little bit. Now, you've probably all divers have experienced dry mouth. Better water vapor is good. It helps prevent dry mouth. You don't want very much, though. First of all, it's hard on equipment. Secondly, if you dive in cold water, it can lead to freezing of the regulator. Another story, check my tech tips. It's in there. So they measure the water vapor. They measure it two ways. There's two things that you can do. First of all, as with the previous ones, you can check the water vapor in parts per million. Water vapor, right, parts per million. Here at Aquarius, 2.4 parts per million of the air sample is water vapor. What are they allowed? Well, they're allowed 27. That's good. We got 2.4 and we're allowed 27. We're cool on water vapor. There's another way that you can measure the water vapor in the air. We've talked about this previously when we've talked about what is my reg freeze and stuff like that. The other way to measure it is atmospheric dew point. There it is right there, atmospheric dew point. And <clears throat> this is in degrees Celsius, disease degrees centigrade or Celsius. And <clears throat> here at Aquarius, the dew point is minus 71 degrees. Okay, that's, that's cold. That's really, really cold. And what that means, if you go back to my previous uh, uh, videos, you'll find this. The dew point is the temperature at which the water vapor in the air will condense, will turn into rain or snow. It'll condense. It's no longer vapor. It turns into a liquid, if you like, because as it gets colder and colder and colder, eventually the water vapor becomes a liquid as rain or snow, whatever. So minus 71. So they can actually measure that and they say, okay, the water vapor that is in your clean air is very, very low. The temperature of the air would have to reach minus 71 before it would condense, form water, freeze, whatever. Okay, that's pretty cool. What's allowed? Well, minus 53 is the standard. Minus 71 is much, much colder. So the water vapor in the air here at Aquarius Diving is very, very good. Very, very little water vapor. Very good. So anyway, there you go. You were asking about <clears throat> how do I know my air is safe? How do I do an air check? It's really very simple. Walk into your local dive store. Look on the wall. If it's not there, it should be. If it's not there, ask. Okay, and say, where is your air, breathing air analysis? And you can look at it. It should be a date. Should be always within one year, perhaps less than that. The date should never be more than a year old. And you can actually go through this. And there's all the different gases, things in the breathing air. And it should show you how much is allowed by government standards and how much they have. Oh, by the way, you might notice right here, pass. This air certificate shows that they passed. Well, of course it did. You saw what I just read to you. So there you go. For you uh, folks out there that were wondering about your, your breathing air, uh, who regulates it, how to check it, how to know if it's good, simple, go to your dive store. Okay? Air quality check, so important for scuba divers. Hope that was uh, informational for you. Keep the comments coming. Love them. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. Talk to you soon.